Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Gex 3 Deep Cover Gecko. We have one more remote in the superhero show after getting a few of the remotes last time. Let's get it Especially on. the Flycoin remote, which means I will never have the go for reward remotes ever again. And now that I have the Mad Bomber remote left, I think it's time that we've started going for it. Someone got into mommy's makeup. Okay. Let's go ahead and make sure that we hit all these things so that way we can get all these things to move up and down when we need to. Because we're definitely going to need that. And I should be okay as far as health goes. I do want to get at least 50 so I can have as many lives for what I'm about to do. And is that... No, that's just health. Okay. Ow. We might as well just go ahead and take care of him and then just get on over here. Break this. And then get our health back, which would be nice. So, if you can't already hear in the background, I'm still using the fan. But at least it's cooled down a little bit as of the time of this recording. Come on. Really? Well, at least I can go up here now. And go this way at the very least. And I did not expect that TV on a copter to just straight up hit me. There we go. Now. I want to break through all of this. And just make my way over to here. Just make my way down here and take care of this guy. Come on. There we go. And you know what? I should probably just keep going this way from this level. So that way I can break through this and not have much of a problem. There we go. I don't think I'm really going to need the super strength for anything else right now. And I do want to make sure that I tail bounce on that rat there so therefore I can take take him down like super easily. There we go. Get all those fly coins. I want to make sure that I get at least 50 because again, I want to get as many lives here that, as I can. And speaking of fly coins, there should be some right around here, I think. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and zoom the camera out a little bit, so that way I can actually see things when I need to. And now, let's go ahead and get some health, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it. Thankfully, I did. Let's go ahead and grab these fly coins. Then get over here. There's going to be another rat here. Let's go ahead and tail bounce him. And we want to go up and to the left. Oh, come on. I am not liking the fact that the camera did not want to cooperate when I wanted to turn it around so that way I could see Gex from the side there. And now with that, let's go ahead and zoom out the camera again and then get over here. Alright. We're over here now. There should be one, one of those guys here. We do have the beat them up to get the chicken suit at the end. Eat this. I just now confirmed that while playing the 
playing a practice run for this stage just so I can figure out how exactly to best get to the Mad Bomber. There we go. And we, from here, we should be able to get to this way. All right, we've hit the checkpoint. Let's go ahead and take care of this guy one more time. There. Now we can open this up. And now we can get the chicken suit and fly to the Mad Bomber, wherever he may be. Okay. We're going to fly our way over to here. And that is where we need to go. Let's go ahead and take care of this TV enemy. And that is where... the superhero costume is going to be. Let's go ahead and climb up this blue wall here. And we should now be able to make our way over to here. And if I could just line this up just straight enough, I could do this. I'm having a okay time doing this, but I need to stand close to the edge so that way I can better aim a little bit. Get this bomb out of the way. And apparently I'm not completely straight with the bombs here, but I was that time. And I was able to aim that one perfectly, despite being completely off. And I'm going to go ahead and go over here. Get some of the coins that are in this location. And... Ow. Well, we can still kind of get the... Re re the, the remote that's still around here. We just kind of have to go back a little bit and then just stand right here. Finally! Now I got this taken care of. So we now have all of the remotes in the game. In the, in the regular game. There's one more, but we have to beat Rez to get it. And I need to leave my bottle of tea open so that way I can drink out of it when I need to. All right. We are done with the superhero show. And with that, we can climb across these red walls and go over here to the final bonus stage of the game, which requires 31 bonus coins out of 45. And it's the second and last edition of What a, what a Croc, where you have to eat 10 rubber duckies. Let's see if I can do this without messing things up horribly. I want to go over here first, get some time, try not to get hit, get out of the, move. Thankfully, this game only appears twice. I'm glad it does, because quite honestly, I hate the fact that it takes forever for you to get up when you get hit by anything in this minigame, which I find really, really dumb. And it's a good thing I went over here, then went through the tunnel, because now I have all of the things here, all the rubber duckies that I need to eat on the lower level. So now here's the middle level. I'm a, Yep, that's number six. It's been a long time since I played this bonus level. I know how to play it, but at the same time, it, it amazes me what I've forgotten. For instance, it takes forever to get up if you hit, run into a mine or get hit by a cannonball or something. And I have the feeling I'm gonna run. Nope, I didn't run into anything good. 
There's the ninth rubber duck. So not only does it take forever to get up in case you get hit, but the, the, the croc really loves to stick the walls and you have to unstick yourself as much as you possibly can, which I find just dumb. And there is the last code that we can enter in the vault. Triangle, XX, Circle, Square, Triangle, which gives you full health if you input it in the vault. That reminds me. I need to do a video involving the codes. Or at least showing off the special videos when I beat the game. Because I still, or rather, I could just tack them on to the end of the, of the final video. It may be this one, it may be the next one. But we have everything that we can possibly do. All that's left is Channel Z, all static, all the time, just like last time. And we just have the face res now. We need 30 remotes to enter Channel Z. And we have everything up until Channel Z, so that's not really much of a problem. And if you think you're just going to have a regular boss battle, well, just looking at this cutscene that you get before you start the level will prove otherwise. I mean, there's this huge thing, this huge satellite that you have to enter. But then you see all these satellites set up like you have to jump from one to another, and you realize you do have to jump from one. You do have to jump from one to another. So, Alfred just mentioned that we have to open the airlock by hitting three switches across the huge satellite. That big satellite we saw at the beginning of the cutscene. To make matters worse, I have very little practice at this and bleh. I have very little practice at this and I have no checkpoints whatsoever. And if you fall, you're starting this all over, which I just don't like. I may stop in the middle of this level and then carry on the next one if I think it's getting a little dicey. Also, that second to last satellite before you get on this on this super huge one, sometimes the timing is off and you just kind of have to bounce your way to the thing and just grab it with your tongue. So this thing, stay away from the flashing barrier that tr pretty much rotates around this thing. Hit the switch when you get to it, and then we have to make our way, oh my gosh, we have to make our way to the elevator that is here. Oh my gosh. That thin platform right there is just harrowing, because I have the strange feeling I'm going to miss it. Even, which I really shouldn't, because there's nothing but the earth down there and we fall down there we're done so we're now up here and guess what there is an area that you do have to go to it is marked by a white arrow and are you kidding me how did I fall okay that's what he said Turn off the three generators, you can enter the huge satellite. I may have to do some editing during this vi during this stage as well. I wouldn't exactly say during this video. But I would have to edit in case I lose a lot of progress though, because it is easy to mess this up to some degree. As I showed earlier and it's not fun when that happens because you have to start all over and you have to do all this all this satellite jumping and you have to go to all the generators and turn them off again one by one and stuff like that can happen and that's never a fun thing 
Okay. We're over here now. Hit the switch. Good. Okay, I guess I could just make a regular jump towards that and just be fine. That thin ledge leading up the platform, though, still kind of worries me. Also, this also begs the question of how in the world... You're supposed to... Okay. How are you supposed to do that? When your head is clearly in a spacesuit. Gex must have some special material around his tongue or something. Then again, none of this is supposed to be realistic anyway. So it's not like I really should be questioning this, but still... Okay, I have the best camera angle I probably should. Hey, I thought I was going to fall off, so I tried to, you know, stop myself and stuff. And two down, one to go, amazingly. So the three lifts have three different colors here on the wall. The first one we took to get up here in the first place was purple, I think, and that one's green. The next one's going to be red. as you can see. Please don't kill me, game. Okay. Or me. I'm pretty sure some of it's gonna be on me. Okay. Follow the thing. Don't get zapped. There we go. And I hope... Thank you, Alfred. I'm assuming his name's Alfred. I've already forgotten his name. So I just keep calling him Alfred. Then again, Brick Row comes up with weird names for characters anyway. So it's not like that's out of the ordinary. I'll just keep calling him Alfred. And, wow, I do this, like, what? This Only the second try? So, we can finally enter this door. We can finally go in here. And we got this. There's this. But... I have no idea how to fight Rez. I only really practiced the level, and even then I didn't exactly get very far. Plus... There is the fact that we are almost nearing 20 minutes. And I want to make sure that I can do a good job against Raz. So, next video, it's going to be the last. Join me next time as we take on Raz for the third and, sadly, the last time. This was the last Gex game. There are the Game Boy Color versions of... Enter the Gecko and Deep Cover Gecko. Will I ever play those? I don't know. Maybe. It's it's basically up to me, really, but I might as well just go ahead and answer that question before cutting this video. So, join me next time where I go and defeat Rez one last time. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. And thanks for watching!